They say a picture is worth a thousand words. That a single image can relay a person's essence, strength, determination, struggle. Danny Dietz knows it all, and his scar has a story. Nice day out. I know, right? Senior year at Simsbury High School, a time for friends, football. Good looks, good looks. And fun. But through the eyes of 18-year-old Danny Dietz. <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> that experience is even more precious. I think I see life in a very special way that a lot of people my age don't get to see it. I realize how easily something could be taken away. Two years ago, Danny was living the life of a normal teenager at Simsbury High. Danny is a very happy-go-lucky young man. We all looked out towards Danny. An athlete, Danny liked to compete and excelled in football and lacrosse. Very driven, very motivated. But that spring... I was playing lacrosse at the time and I was just feeling really bad, out of breath. Um, I was having trouble like walking up the stairs. An emergency visit to the hospital revealed a terrifying reality. Danny had an enlarged heart, a condition that if not caught in time can be fatal. There's a lot to take in at once. I just got a phone call. His father, Terry, competing on the reality show Survivor when he got the news. He's in the hospital. Both your wife and the doctor think that it's serious enough that you should go home to be involved. No question. This high schooler's days in the classroom and on the field were now spent staring out a window at Boston Children's Hospital. Doctors realized his heart condition was genetic. The remedy? A heart transplant. Meanwhile, his hopes of playing football or any contact sport again were crushed. I had so many dreams for football. I wanted to play in college. I wanted to see where I'd go at the next level. You don't think that's going to happen, not to a 16-year-old kid, so it was definitely a shock to all of us. By Danny's junior fall, he was waiting for a new heart. And on the day before he came back to school, the call came in. So my dad got it, and basically he woke me up by running in my room, jumping on top of me, like shaking me, and just like crying almost. It was the touchdown he needed. There was a heart ready for me. And when he woke up, football wasn't far from his mind. First question I asked was, how did my fantasy football team do? And his drive to play football again only grew as he grew stronger. Danny's doctors found themselves in an uncommon situation. Could Danny play again? All five of his doctors decided if he wore extra chest protection, he could try. And almost a year after his transplant, Danny broke a barrier and took to the field at Simsbury High School once again, his new heart ready to tackle new challenges. It was just very powerful for me to be back. Danny had to monitor his body, warming up before practices and cooling down after. But with careful monitoring, it didn't take long before this athlete's heart of gold shone through on his second game back. The whole crowd was chanting Danny Strong. When you're up there in the stands and uh, you see the whole crowd chanting his name and you see him take the field, that's there's no words for that. And when he scored that touchdown, literally everyone just ran up and started hugging him. It was awesome. He was the motivation of our team. All my teammates were just behind me the whole time. It's certainly something that none of us will ever forget. So we got the sign to get put up in the school just so people can kind of like walk by, see it. Now Danny is making sure his classmates know that simply checking a box and deciding to become an organ donor is the ultimate gift. Danny is a great advocate for organ and tissue donation. Caitlin Bernabusi with New England Donor Services in Bloomfield says there is a critical need for donors, especially in Connecticut, where only 46% of the state is registered to donate. The national average is 54%. Every day, 22 people die across the U.S. waiting for an organ. Just one person can help save and improve the lives of over 75 people. I can't throw it that far, dog. Danny says he thinks about his donor, a 14-year-old boy from Pennsylvania, every day. I can't explain my gratitude to that person, and I can't explain my gratitude to the family of the person. <laughs> Such a selfless gift. He's now looking to the future, planning to attend college in San Diego. And while he didn't want to talk about it, he's also got a budding career in modeling, posing for big names like clothing designer Sperry and Mercedes. Future is brighter than ever. I take every second for what it is. Um, and I just want to live every day like to the fullest. If you are interested in becoming a donor, head to our website, fox61.com. We also have information on the Danny Strong Fund through Boston Children's Hospital. The donations go to research for his heart condition, cardiomyopathy, as well as patient and family support. Jen Bernstein, Fox 61 News.